Oh no, what is this? Yes, a new toy for my driveway. Where do you think I got it? Gee, I, I really don't know. I don't know, maybe I got it from the cold beer store over there. I don't know. But check this guy out. I will for sure be making more videos on this guy here, but just picked it up a few seconds ago and uh, yeah, see how it's gonna work. There's some specs on it there, but it's gonna be interesting. It was a hundred bucks off and yeah, I have to give it a try. Well, literally, we've been back for literally three minutes and some random car drove around the block, came back, parked right behind my truck and they jumped out like they're going to try stealing that 400 pound thing off the back of my truck. Uh, the neighbor came out, our neighbor's dog was up on the fence, can't see it there, barking. The neighbor came out and I jumped out at the same time and said, what do you guys want? And they jumped in their car and fucked off. I'm going to pull the footage off the DVR. Uh, should get plate numbers easily from that 1080p camera. But yeah, they just drove away. I'm wondering, did they follow us all the way? Because we have never seen that vehicle before in this area. A bright red car, so it's pretty interesting. But anyway, let's get that off there. Well, here's what it looks like here. And we got to unbox this before it's dark and get this in there. But yeah, that is very strange. Like I said, they pulled up right to there. <laughs> okay. This handle's loose here. Yeah. Jason, we did an unboxing video here, guys. Well, we just pulled the box off. I guess box. I'll have to get my loader and lift it off. <laughs> yeah, they went by on the front street now, so I'm not going to bother pulling the footage right off it, even though I can just do it through the app on my phone. But you're going to record this too? Yeah, I'm going to record this. Uh, we were parked less than three minutes. Three minutes, and there they come there. Yeah. Uh, you see that red car, guys? Yeah. They went around the front street. That's why we knew they were coming. <coughs> and we were sitting right here in the garage watching them. Yeah, and the watch the neighbor's dog up there. Again, I could get better resolution if I uh, pull the footage off. Yeah, we'll that's get, the higher resolution camera we'll there. Zoom into the camera that they're on here. The neighbor's dog jumps up on the fence in a second. Is there three or four of them there? They are changing drivers. There's a the neighbor's dog there. Yeah, because I think they're planning on the guys lifting and the girl driving driving after. That's yeah. why they changed drivers. The girl is driving. Yeah. See there, he's in the yard. Yeah, they're looking and right that, on my truck to what it is. I sent Curtis out. Yeah. And there they go. And there they go running instantly. Yeah. And there's me up on the fence already. Yeah. Oh, the guy wasn't even in and the car was moving. Yeah. <laughs> Holy. Oh, Proxy, do you want to come out and play? Yeah. You happy we left that shelf empty? Snow, knock those axes off the top there, Proxy. But, want to be in my video? Yeah. So, today is shelf day. It's nice and warm. So, putting some shelving across here. I picked up a whole bunch of those metal shelves. Going to go across the back there, across there, and so on. But, not much going on, but it is warm. It is warm. Uh, and just going through, picking out some of the good wood to do it. Hey, why are you guys going in the front there? What are you guys doing? Oh, you let out the weasel, hey? She's gone. Never catch her again. <laughs> and it is melting very nicely. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, I mounted these on upside down on purpose, so nothing slides off the edge here. Got a whole pile of these guys. Next shelf is going up way up there. Uh, just enough clearance that I got about, uh, well, right now, like six inches. But I'm going to be raising this up. Uh, you guys can see 
a fairly decent amount. When I say raising it up, I'm talking about gravel here. So uh, I just had to go about an inch and a half higher there. Then it's going to be mounted the same way as these guys here. But in this case, this is all temporary here. I'm going to be running a kickstand down on an angle like that. Uh, the other option is I'm going to go from here straight up to the ceiling there with a the board to make it a little bit stronger. Oh, barely. Oh. Good thing it kind of landed in. Huh? Yeah. yeah, it's not my food. I mean, let's put that back in there. I keep that in there. Uh, but I didn't get all that much done today. It's kind of a mess in here because I threw a bunch of shit back in here. But I got the one top shelf up there and I got the two right there. Yes, they're all mounted upside down so stuff doesn't fall off. But a little bit more work will need to be done tomorrow. Uh, plan to put maybe another shelf underneath that one. But hopefully the plans of doing this is to clear up the floor so I can put some more gravel in here. Maybe a cement pad. And... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what's going to happen, but I'm still planning to uh, maybe build a whole new shed this year. Uh, this one will end up just being like for storage, not for working on anything, even though I, I could work on stuff. But So keep this one for skinning deer, whatever else, and storage, and I'm thinking right where the doom buggy's sitting right there. I'll end up building a, one probably about three times the size. Or maybe out in the back there by the goat run but i don't know we'll see till then i guess i'll just continue using the sunroom to work on stuff and uh this is getting a little warm so give me a second and i'll probably get back to you guys tomorrow whatever else i get done on it again not much going on right now wow it's nice and foggy outside and again working on the shed getting some shelving in here got the one up there and it's the same size as this one here so two upside down metal panels great for holding screws so they can't fall out and uh i think i'm gonna put one more there not too sure yet maybe another one from there up to here so just one shelf length so kind of deciding yeah let's see yeah that's pretty good well well, time to get to work. Wait for you to get that? No, that's fine where it is. Well, it's quitting time for today. And, uh, yeah, put that cabinet up there, two snow blowers there, got that hanging upside down. Uh, can't put any weight on that one. It actually has clips that holds it in place, so I'll just put screws in it later. Weed whacker up there, ladders up there, has some safety screws there and a couple up at the top there holds it in place nicely and a little bit of a storage loftish area this is uh that top shelf there is temporary i'm going to actually be running a two by four across here all the way to that stud but i mean it works for now this one here is pretty decent i do got to put in a few more screws to hold the bottom bracing up under there but i mean hey for now it's fine uh my idea is in between here again i probably already said this that plywood actually fits nice in there so give me a little bit of a more solid workbench temporary to be honest this will probably be used for storage i really don't think i'll be uh using it for working in here but this bolted this up to the wall oh, i say bolted but i mean screwed it up to the wall it's held up there with six screws so pretty decent but i don't know i think it's going to be working pretty decent for now got a whole bunch more scrap wood here to go through but I don't know, a couple of Volkswagen parts down there, and I guess it will have to do. It will have to do. I think the VW might have a problem with its starter. Yeah, yeah, they always do. That's why there's so many of them. <laughs> so the one that's on it works kind of okay, but I'm going to be changing that. Well, everything is melting pretty quick out here, and uh, next week, do some gravel in the city, and then I'll be bringing that tamper out here, and... I got a little bit of sand, you could say, to try to compress and then get a load of topsoil, 10 yards of topsoil and maybe 40 yards of gravel in here. Fun, fun, fun. Well, that's it for this video and uh, might be a month or two before you see any more of them. <laughs> Roxy.
You gotta go pee. It's not a disaster zone, I swear it's not. Come on, Poodle. Come on. Go pee or come inside. <laughs> well, back in the city here. Uh, so that's the metal tray. Slash skid protector, I guess. I might turn that into some form of a table outside at my house. Not too sure yet. Be good for planting planters on or putting a planter on top. Might just cut it up for steel or might just send it to a shredder. No clue, but yeah, might be able to use it for something. So still sitting on the skid, but it weighs about 350 pounds. 208 cc power fist engine, which is Princess Auto. Uh, that engine, most likely after having it for one year, I will pull it off. You guys can see there, it has the hydrostatic style uh, forward and reverse on it. A little bit interesting. I noticed on and off switch is physically not even there. They don't put it there, but I will probably boot it up, start it up. I don't know, maybe in a, a week or two. Just waiting for things to dry up. And uh, I got back to my dad's. Had that on the trail on my truck. It was in this metal shipping crate. Less than three minutes of being parked right beside the garage, someone drove up and started reading the box on my truck and they were trying to steal it, I'm guessing, but they would probably have not lifted it. But maybe I'll insert a clip of that. Again, less than three minutes uh, of being at my dad's. They were looking in the back of my truck trying to take it. So, yeah, today's uh, April 16th. That happened though. That would have been the end of last month, uh, I guess. But the reason why we need it is there's a lot of gravel I got to go through. I mean, we got to order at least 10 yards of gravel. Because this is a swamp. Quite literally a swamp. Proxy doesn't want to leave her little wood pellets with her paws. There was about a six inches of water in the backyard here yesterday, but... <laughs> But it's not too bad. Uh, and other than that, uh, you got to get the loader going. Because they're going to have to move the gravel around and then pack it down. And then the packer has to come to my house because i got to do a bunch of work there too. Okay, that's the end of this.